configuration setting okay so how it can work and uh, how you can manage those things so let us check it slash and sprvo reference img material management purchasing under purchasing go to purchase order set up stock transport order okay in setup stock transport order we have a configuration called uh, define checking rule okay so this checking rule uh, how you can control at the delivery type level and how you are managing see here uh, for example there is a configuration here configure delivery type and availability check procedure by plant go to this configuration So for each delivery type, okay, let's take it. We are using UV supplying plant, maybe 1000. Okay. So the 1010 supplying plant. So for this one, UV supplying plant 1010, you are assigning uh, delivery type NL. Okay. And select the delivery type ml and checking rule b okay so checking rule b and uh, here there is one more checking rule is there uh, for example if it is nl and um, there is another checking rule 0 1 okay standard i want to tell you about these two things uh, for example if you are using b if there is no stock Okay, if there is no stock for respective material at the supplying plant and you have activated the automatic delivery creation during that point of time, if your business requirement is to give an error message that what error message, I'm going to show you that error message also. If your requirement is to throw an error when you create STO where outbound delivery creation is activated automatically if you want an error message there is no stock available for this material at this supplying plant then please use b delivery no i want to create sto okay i want to just create the sto maybe delivery creation can be failed but sto creation should not be stopped then you use 01 so sto creation delivery can be created later but uh, to avoid any confusion like, there is a stock let's create STO and delivery immediately. If there is no stock, throw error at the STO level only. If that is the requirement, then use checking rule B. Now what I'm going to do, I just mentioned that automatic delivery creation, right? So there are two configuration nodes which you need to do it. Those are these two. In several, uh, I think one or two videos also I mentioned about this automatic delivery creation concept. You have to activate in the first configuration. So the document category F can be supplying plant 1010. So here automatic delivery creation active. So mostly we use this uh, second option when you're creating automatic delivery because it will put it like single delivery. Okay. So automatic delivery creation active. You need to, when you're activating this one, then just know whatever the concept I explained, the checking rule, how you can control based on the business requirement. This is the one config setting you need to do. And second one, this also you have to do at the shipping point level. How you do? UB and uh, okay. UB shipping point 1010 automatic delivery creation active. 
So you need to activate at the both the places, then only automatic delivery creation will work. So automatic delivery creation at the, the test your document type and shipping point combination. And also where we have done it at the document level. So for example, F document type UV supplying plan 1010. Okay. Here also you need to do it. So document type. STO document type and uh, supplying plant combination you will activate here and second configuration you are activating at the STO document type and shipping point. So the two configuration need to be done otherwise it will not work. So here in this video uh, in S4 HANA when you are working on STO if you want to have automatic uh, delivery creation this is the configuration so that you don't have to do the what you are going to you, you don't have to do vl10b so what we are making automation let's take uh, okay. so normally what happens uh, sto me21n outbound delivery outbound delivery vl10b that's what we use it, right? So the steps one, two, three, then uh, post goods issue. Let's take it IM only. I'm not talking WM. BL0 TN. Four. If you're using inbound delivery, you can utilize it. Otherwise, post goods issue. Either VL32N or MIGO or VL32N. If you're using automatic inbound delivery creation, then uh, you do VL32 and otherwise you do the MIGO. This is what our steps, right? In this step, we are making this step as automatic. No need to create a manual one. Okay. So that's what I was talking about the configuration, how to make it auto. So when you're making these settings and uh, I wanted to explain these two checking rules, right? Just now I explained checking rule. Checking rule and impact. So for example, if you are keeping 0, 01, uh, STO will be created, but no outbound delivery when there is no, and there is insufficient stock. You don't have a sufficient stock, then this is the behavior. If you are using checking rule B, okay, so then, uh, system will give the error messages at during STO creation. What is the error message? I'm going to show you now. You can see here also, like uh, go to purchasing, go to purchasing environment data, Define attributes of system messages. Double click on system messages. The number is double zero zero six four five zero. So see here, this is the message warning here, and uh, few clients it can be error. So if you really wanted to have a warning or error that you can control, but at least there will be message will be prompted when you use the checking rule. Okay. So I hope in this video, you understand about the uh, functionality of automatic delivery creation based on STO when the stock is available at the supplying plant location, supplying storage location or supplying plant at the same time and uh, two different checking rules and uh, how you are going to use it. Those things also we learn. If you feel this uh, video is helpful for you and you can always share with your circle, so that uh, many members can be benefited out of my efforts. Thanks for watching. See you with another video. Thank you.